here in Nordia. Oh, God, they're coming to get us. OK, thank you. Over to our satellite link where we can talk with Dr. Claire Dubois of Stanford, an expert in ant behavior. Tell us, doctor. What is happening? Well, it's probably because these ants have been subjected to some kind of disturbance, a mining or excavation work. Basically, they're territorial, and they will react with aggression if they feel like they're being attacked. Ants communicate by trading chemical signals called pheromones between the touches of their antennae. Their eyesight is poor, but all intruders to the colony are immediately detectable by their smell. So, these guys are smart? Yeah, I mean, the chemical language they use, it, it's remarkable. In the case of Echiton bocellii on a feeding rate, it, it's responsible for coordinating the behavior of up to a million individuals. It has been estimated that an ant brain has a processing power of a small computer. It makes you wonder what we could learn if we could somehow strip away our own technology and meet with them on equal ground. We human beings struggle to understand the motives of even a single suicide bomber. What the hell does she know about suicide bombers? Here we see thousands of ants deliberately drowning themselves to build the foundations for what can only be called a bridge. Are you going to let her get away with that crap? May I introduce the man brought here to deal with the situation? Thank you, Joe. It's a very, uh, interesting presentation, Dr. Dubois, but we do part company when you fantasize that a swarm of army ants is some kind of Mardi Gras marching society. It's not. It's just a big ball of instinct. Dr. Horace Leonard, CEO of Thorax Industries, former colleague... And now world leader in the wholesale slaughter of insects. You're telling these people bedtime stories. Do you know what happens when we strip away our technology and meet on equal ground? They eat us. And if you don't believe me, please, come to Bantau and see for yourself. Spray gun in hand. Don't leave camp without it. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, thank you, Dr. Leonard. Thank you. And we're out. Thank you. Excuse me. So, did you have your fun? Dr. Claire Dubois. When did you arrive? Flew in yesterday. Deploying tomorrow. How's it look? Mostly rainforest, rubber plantations, plus a few casualties. You know, I could always use the world's leading hymenopterist in my truck. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think I'd fit in with your crew. <laughs> Come on, my crew's like a family. They love you almost as much as I love you already. Maybe we can have dinner sometime. Sure. I'll speak to you soon. Okay. Okay, people, let's liquefy some uh, endoskeletons.
Okay, guys. We have to solve this problem. All of our industry are on hold. We cannot allow tourists on the island. This time, there are even more of them than our first estimate. Larger than 2001? Larger than 2001. That swarm in 2001 destroyed this island economically for two years. The locals are saying this time ants are different. Different? How? More aggressive? Yeah, more aggressive. Ants killing humans in large numbers is almost unheard of. The number of casualties here probably exceeds the total from all previously recorded incidents. Yeah, more aggressive. But also picking their battles. Okay, let me show you. Um, today, when they retreated across the fire dish, usually the ants just keep coming until you light it. But today, they stopped short, almost like they knew the fire was coming. Do you see what I mean? You set out a pretty good line of defense. This plantation here, it's been stripped. Everything is gone. Okay, well, <clears throat> we're gonna have to force them back onto this barren ground. So Cortez, you and the army are gonna head straight right up the middle. Bill and I'll do a right flank and we'll force them into a pincer. You hired the right guy, sir. We're gonna get this done now. Communication check. This is Bill. You read me? Good helmet image. Switch to POV. POV images good across the board. Hey, Cortez, your GPS is down. Uh, I think it would help if I turned it on. Sorry. <laughs> Climate team telemetry shows lots and loads. Let's roll, people. So while you and Cortez are moving up north, we're going to soften up that central mass with aerials. Every ant poison kills every ant it touches and so on. Domino effect. All set? Any questions? Let's go. How's it looking out there, Dev? Imagery is good. Recorders are running. Go again, you're breaking up. Cortez still got his hands full. Damn it, I ought to be there with him. Stick to the plan, Bill. We can think ahead. It's one of our advantages. Debs? Hey, Lenny, how's your con with base camp? Mine's crap. Yeah. 
Are we near a power aerial or something? There's a new cell tower half mile from you, but it's not operational yet. Len, did you copy that? It's not operational yet. Copy. What is that? Len, there's something weird near you. I'm losing telemetry, Len. Len, did you copy any of that? Len. Len. Deb. Deb. This seems a little bit weird to you, buddy. What do you mean? I don't know. This all seems a little too quiet. Yeah, well. Weird me out a little bit, too. Deb. Len, a report. What's with this comlink? Len! What is that? It's made entirely of ants. We container destroy. Don't move. Deb, you getting this? Deb! Damn calm is down. Hey, look. Let's see where it goes. Hell, I'm game. Wow, is that weird. Sand cables cross, but they remain discreet. I don't see any food being transported. Oh, call me crazy, but it looks like comm cable to me. Bill! Wow, look at them all. They look like they're nesting. They never nest and swarm at the same time. I know that. Look out! Oh! oh. Oh, God, there's millions of them. Uh, Lenny, Lenny, help me. Uh, Bill, Lenny, get this branch off me. Uh, oh, 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 Dad. Uh, uh, easy, Bill. Lenny, open it. Oh, God, stop it. Uh, Bill! Buddy, they never got in. Cortez, get over here! There's something wrong with Bill. What's up? Nothing. Fine. Just help me get him out of his suit. There you are. What's going on? We've got classic retreat patterns across the infest zone. Okay. You guys can stand down. Good job. Please, is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Did you guys, uh, you guys get video from, from when that branch came down? No, you guys cut up way before that. So you didn't see it? See what? Nothing. Just do a standard documentation sweep and I'll check in with you.
What's that? Nothing. You need to come see this. What? Crop fields destroyed by an ant swarm. Seen that before? Yeah, but now I put a filter on it. Is this for real? Yeah. This one. This one. This? This is just a mud flat on the river. Okay, you need to make hard copies of these quietly. What do you think it means? I don't know, but we need to find out. Attention, please. Minister Zing would like to address you. Thank you. I rise to offer our thanks to Dr. Horace Leonard and the Thorax Industries team for helping us defeat the insect plague. This ongoing partnership between our brave armed forces and the expertise of American science has made our vast archipelago safer and a more productive part of the nation. Someday, we may rid ourselves of this menace altogether. Or even someday, Dr. Leonard may even share his secret formula with us. I raise my glass to Dr. Leonard and his team. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> They're all over the counter. They keep falling my drink. I don't see any ants, Bill. Oh, I see them, Len. I feel them all over me, too. Listen to me. You're just having a delayed sensory reaction to what happened. It's totally normal. It's not normal, Len. It's not normal what happened to us today. The way they pulled that tree down on top of us, they planned that. How are you guys doing? You know, you guys didn't do such a great job out there today. No, sir, look. There's still one left. You missed one. <laughs> Good. Let me pull him together. Sure, if anybody can. But I just worry, you know? Worry about what? Billy, or rather, William Routledge, PhD, BSc, etc., etc., was Len's professor at college. Hmm. Really strung out on booze when Len first met him. Got him cleaned up, gave him this job, gave him his life back, cleared his gambling debts. But that was what? Five years ago? Right, so if he's in trouble again, then we'll sort it out. Sure. They'd do anything for each other. Excuse me. Stop the music, please! Stop the music! Stop, please. Attention, everyone! Attention, please! All leave, I cancel. Thank you. 
All military personnel report to their unit immediately. Thorax team, assemble with me, please. What is it? A new swarm on Bantam. That's impossible. They never swarm twice in a season. Yes, they are this year, and they have pushed out as far as the river. Well, this can't be right. Estimated size. That's three times the size of the first swarm. You gotta be wrong. There ain't that many ants on that island. Can I use your phone? Yeah. Excuse me. All right, listen to this. We're gonna have to redeploy everything that we pulled out of there, all right? Claire, it's Len. The text I sent you to explain everything. Just get yourself to Bantau Airport and I'll pick you up. I'll tell you more then. Claire. Well, Doctor, how times have changed. Well, we're not backpacking through Europe anymore. No, we're not. Unfortunately. Not sweet. We were sweet. So I saw the Forbes article. 20 multi-millionaires under the age of 35. Congratulations. It's not as grand as it sounds. Profits go back into the business, and I'm living in a trailer. Socially, I haven't evolved much beyond the backpacker stage, I'm afraid. <laughs> Backpacker with millions? That's a truly frightening prospect. So what about you, Professor? Associate, Professor. Associate? All your scholarly articles and your book, which was tremendous, by the way. I don't think I ever told you that. <laughs> you read it? Cover to cover. Can't believe you're still chasing Tenny. Well, you know, you read the book. Speculating about mass intelligence and insect swarms. It's not exactly mainstream stuff. Well, now we've got something in common. Both of us are academic pariahs now. Me because I kill insects, and you because you think they're intelligent. Well, and that's a gross overstatement of my thesis. What? Suppose some guy came up to you off the street and showed you evidence that your thesis was correct. Are you talking about that text and photo you forwarded me? What could such a guy expect? A kiss? Huge, sloppy kiss. What are you talking about? These were taken after the Bantau swarm. But these are molecular structures. These were fabricated by ants. It appears so, yes. But that would require intelligence. Isn't that what you've been saying all along? I never said they knew chemistry, physics, and geometry. I saw other things, too. Like what? Take a look at this. It's a tentacle. I don't know what else to call it, really. Made entirely out of ants. 
rose up out of the main swarm like a cobra. And on the top of the thing, a couple dozen ecotom with their eyes pushed forward and their antenna pressed back. And I swear to you, they were watching me, studying me. They even deliberately knocked a tree down on top of my partner and I. They could have killed us at any moment. But once this thing had looked us over, they let us go. That's quite a story. So what do you think? That a super colony of insects has become self-aware. Do you know what this is? Where did you get this? Is it right? Where did you get it? A grad student of mine first noticed something in local populations. So we tested ant specimens from around the world. Africa, the Amazon, places where they swarm, you know. Something like 70% of all the ant samples have metabolites of that in their systems. So I reverse engineered it. How many years have you been spraying that stuff around the world? About eight. Well, it's now part of the global ecosystem. Claire, I don't sit around my lab like some kind of mad scientist dreaming up ways of destroying insects for laughs. Okay, my team and I go where we're asked. We save lives. People are grateful for what we do. Jacobson, you watch him, okay? Monitor this. Cortez, you're in charge, okay? I got you, Billy. Where the hell have you been? We are barely in control of this. What, you two been having a big time? Is that it? Probably, Phil. We got bigger problems now. I've never seen ant behavior like this before. There ain't that many ants in the world. Figure out what we're gonna do. Come on. Glad you're here. Yeah. This way. We have never seen anything like this. We estimate the swamp population at 200 million. 200 million? That's impossible. I bet there's more than that. Oh, that's possible. We have already lost 20 men. And if the ants cross the river, what is going to stop them? Besides, what the hell do you know about it, Professor Dubois? They don't have this kind of crap at Stanford, do they? Bill, 
What the hell is the matter with you? Did you just shut up and listen? The locals took this sample from the living age. But there are a half dozen different species in there. When we first got this jar, they were swarmed together, cooperating. For a species? No, that can't be. A swarm is one species, one nest of a single species. They don't tolerate outsiders. They detect the difference in the pheromone and, and they kill them. Well, just like these guys are doing. Exactly. But once they were inside this container, Severed from the swamp for a while. They went back to their normal mutual hostility. Well, they were with the swamp. It's one pheromone. One pheromone, and they work together. Single common purpose. What's this over here? Let me show you. Okay, guys, listen up. This is Bunang, the village on the island. Every recon shows about 50 people still there. Ants haven't been able to get across yet. Okay, we gotta rescue these people right away. Can we get boats here? No problem. Okay, well for the moment we gotta just focus on keeping the ants on the far end of the embankment. Set up defensive positions at the narrows, here and here. Mr. So Chang, may I take that jar away with me, please? I I'd like to examine it more closely. Let's go. How's that fit? Oh, I'll get used to it. Well, it was made for a guy about this much taller than you, so. Yeah, I guess. Where the hell? Oh, there it is. Vinny, you good to go? Tank levels are OK. We do this for the team, yeah? Yeah, of course we do. Right. Right. What do you mean, am I good to go? Of course I'm good to go. Why are you asking me that? Test fire the weapon, please. Len, I, I told you, I won't be using your death spray. Man, you just don't seem fit. I don't seem fit, huh? Hey, man, I've been doing... I taught you how to do this. I'll tell you what. You can leave it dangling around your neck if you like. But I can guarantee you it won't stay there for long. You just watch your own butt, big boy.
to the river as fast as you can. Go, go! Plantation. It looks like we got an opening here. Let me take a look. You used your weapon, I see. Yes, to save her. I had no choice. Don't expect me to do it again. If Cortez and I head towards that old factory, maybe we can flank them and improve our odds. Len said to stay put. Hey, Len's not here. You get him on the comm. This opening may not last long. Comm is all screwed up. He hasn't reported in. I'm gonna get Cortez to your position. Stay where you are. You do what you want, Dibs. I'm heading out. What's wrong with you? Bill, stay there. Her name is Ying. She's an orphan. She used to live with her brother, but he went hunting in the bush two days ago and he never came back. God, Len, I'm scared. Cortez! Cortez, come in, Cortez! 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 Confirm on Bill's position. Right. Claire, you look at the thing you've loved and studied your whole life, and in one instant, one moment of clarity, you see the dangerous side. Killer side. When you reach for the pistol instead of the chair. Happened to me about ten years ago. Cortez, if you can hear me on this crappy calm. I'm about 20 yards northeast of the factory. Come and find me. Bill! Glad to see you, man. Right, right.
don't move. Don't look up. Structure. 
imagine each ant as a switch, capable of saying yes or no. Like binary code? I'm using electrical signals as well as chemical. Are you saying this is a computer? That's crazy. Maybe this is as far as we should go. I don't think we have much choice. Over here. I think we're here. What are they doing? These are the same images we've been seeing. Is it a language? Them? And us? The front line. DNA, that, that's what they've been trying to formulate. They kill us. We kill each other. Wan Bantou. What? What was that you? Wan Bantou. Yes, it's Bantou. She's right. They want this island. we just saw. But we gotta get her back. How did they learn to do that? Ants just became self-aware. What, in one evolution we leap? Evolution doesn't work like that. Well, sporadic spurts of adaptation Claire, happen... please. Come on, there's something new here. Cruelty, deception. Evolution doesn't just spawn that stuff. <laughs> well, how about the introduction of a foreign substance into our nervous systems? If that's it, we know who's to blame, don't we?
Here. Oh, thanks. <sighs> Will they come after us? I don't think so. You know, I looked at ants going two ways around a rock and rhapsodized about how intelligent they were. I never dreamed I'd never see ant TV. Nothing I've ever seen, believe me. Do you think what Ying said is true? That the ants think that this island is their sanctuary? It's more like we're taking it over. That's how Zing can see it. Well, you know that we can't tell him. I'm still under contract, Claire. Screw your contract. You tell him about this. He's going to go in there and blow that place to kingdom come. I have no choice. We have to tell them. Oh. Glenn, I... They'll listen to us. Us? Yeah, us. I mean, we're going to have to do this together. And we may need Chang to get Ying back. You all right? Oh. Just... Suits? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. That was okay. Oh. Mm. That's better. <sighs> hey, does this remind you of anything? It's a far cry from Venice. <laughs> yeah. It's good to see you, Dr. Dubois. It's good to see you, Dr. Leonard. Cortez. Good to see you. Then, we wish we were dead. We should be dead. So, what happened? We are face to face with another intelligent species. Only they're not human. They're insectoid. They don't make tools to manipulate their environment. They use specific subspecies to meet specific needs. Millions of individuals have created a matrix, like a computer for data processing. They've demonstrated an ability to not just comprehend ideas or, or 
concepts or intelligence. They can actually project these things, visualize them in three dimensions. Young girl hostage? Lin, you actually buy this? We saw what we saw. Uh, so what do you think it means, Len? They actually laid claim to one of our islands. And I'm here to say that will never happen. Thousands of people dead, known dead, towns destroyed, plantations shut down, livestock dead, land wasted, tourists gone. And we didn't stop them. We didn't stop them? No, they just retreated. And why do you think they did that? Huh. Because you have talked them into it. No, because we stopped killing them. No, we are not going to negotiate with ants. Dr. Leonard, what do you advise? I'll tell you what I'd advise. I say we go in and nuke them. Bill, please. Please. Look, we have to get Ying back. Just let Dr. Dubois and I try and negotiate. Oh, good, good. Dr. Leonard, right now, Nukem sound pretty good, huh? Huh? Sound pretty good, huh? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Hmm. So, Dr. Leonard, how are you going to make them believe our desire to stop the fighting? Or we can just give them part of the island. Like somewhere west of the river. It's less than half the island. That's the offer. Or I will indeed nuke them. Right? Nuke them. You have until tomorrow morning. Thank you, Minister. Let's go. It's just like you said, Lynn. Strip away the technology and meet on equal terms, they eat us. There's nothing I could do. He was a good man, Bill. And a friend. I mean, it wasn't so much that they killed him. I mean, I, I expect them to kill him, but it was the way they killed him. I mean, always before it was mindless killing, but this is anything but. They laid a trap for us. We walked right into it. You did your best, Bill. It's like every time we hit them with something, they, they just get smarter. It's like they're, it's like they're learning. <laughs> they're learning. But if they're learning, they can be taught. Yeah. Yeah, we can teach these clever little bastards a lesson. That's why we can, we can teach them not to screw around with us. Bill, listen. I get you're upset about Cortez. We all are. As Claire and I are working out a plan. They've still got Yang. Trying to get her back. Count me in. Is he okay? Claire, can I show you something? Yeah, sure. I'm trying to figure out what makes these ants cooperate so well together. The different species are working together. I just can't make it out anymore. Will you help? Sure, show me what you got. So I put this one. Oh, 
Okay. This one, this one. And what's in here? I know it's over there. Okay, let's take a look. So, I started with this. Uh huh. And then it came out like this. I don't know. It might. I might be on something, but I'm not sure. Okay, Bill? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm fine. Look, I, uh, I know we've never really seen eye to eye, but, <laughs> but, um, I just wanted to say how sorry I am about what happened to Cortez. It was horrible. And if there's anything I can do to help. Well. Well. Claire. When I was teaching at Caltech, was I any good? I mean, did, did, did you think I was any good? Alex Zawinski would testify to that. Paul Vodoff from the UN. It just... It just seems like nobody ever says if... if you're any good. Well, you got Len and me through. You take care of land. You guys take care of each other. I... I just... I didn't...
Where is he? I'm sorry I haven't let you guys. I, I had to get you all geared up. We're not taking them, Bill. We're not? No. We're leaving the seats from the barn this time, buddy. You're serious? You're going back in that cave without skins? You're out of your minds! They need us alive just like Cortez was. It's a gesture of goodwill. Goodwill? Towards ants? Yes. <laughs> Lenny. No. It's just Claire and me this time, buddy. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, if that's what you want, man, you're the boss. I... Yeah, can I talk to you a second? Come here. Lenny, you gotta let me do this. You gotta let me do this. I gotta. Cortez, man. I... Besides, you're getting a jam. Who do you want at your back, huh? Her or me? All right. No havoc. No suits. Yeah. Thing away from me. It's not hurting you. Don't start anything. You better worry. Negotiating. Done here yet? Not yet, Bill. We're still negotiating. Gotta get out now. Not now. Yes! 
for Yalin. Now. Bill. Bill! What are you doing? It's time to end it with these clever little bastards. Grab the kid and go! <laughs>
we pay you millions and millions. And this is all we got? Ants? Aliens? Spacecraft? And a giant ant? Because nobody can explain what has happened here. Nothing has happened here. Do you understand? No alien. No spaceship. Nothing. We will protect the people by telling them nothing. Nothing. I love this place. 